So if you've been following on Twitter and on YouTube, Angry Joe basically got me to by somebody by the name of Queen of the Feeders. Now, Queen of the Feeders is a content creator. She has her own Twitch channel, so she's not she's not anywhere near as big as Angry Joe. Uh, but apparently, they met at some point. Unfortunately, I wanted to pull up her side of the story. I was reading it the other day, um, but it's deleted. So uh, I guess she posted on Medium.com, and the person ended up removing the entire post. I guess because uh, Angry Joe. Excuse me, Angry Joe, I guess, had his lawyers um, have them remove their post in its entirety. And so um, looking at we were we basically only get the opportunity to see Angry Joe's point of view. Jeremy the Quartering did a, a video on this and he reads her entire reply. So I'll probably I'll leave a link to to his so that you can see her entire story. I was trying to find it online. I wish I wish I, I wish I could have found it online. And I think this kind of just goes to show you, this is basically from kind of like a red pill perspective of why a man on his purpose shouldn't deviate for a woman. And you see that very quickly uh, within their intera- within their interaction. Uh, as much as Joe tries to downplay their interaction, in my opinion, in my opinion, I believe that he was far more attracted to her than she was to him and i do believe some of the stuff that she says was actually true uh primarily if you read joe's interaction with her at the very beginning he says um he says it's come to my attention that someone i met at a public event more than two years ago says that i have had no contact with since is now suddenly leveling allegations against me on social media says i want to be absolutely clear these allegations are not true, and anyone who looks at the facts can plainly see that. Can plainly see that. Says, I have no idea why this person has decided to do this uh, at this time, but the fact that a defamatory smear posted on the internet can ruin lives, which is true, uh, these days compels me to make this statement. All right? And so from his statement, we can, uh, we can uh, extrapolate that he was far more into this individual right off at the beginning. And this is the very mistake uh, that he makes for a person who is basically, you know, on his grind and is has been grinding out on YouTube and on social media and on Twitch, etc. As a content creator, you see uh, what we refer to as, you know, like the blue pill sort of beta men and then the more alpha men who are more into pulling women just with their sexual appeal versus trying to pull a woman based off of what you can do for her. And so this is kind of why, this is kind of the backlash that you get as a man who does this. It's a very good uh, experience. Uh, this is a very good experience. I mean, it really even recently happened to to Justin Bieber. Justin Bieber got called out on Twitter by some by some random and even when he posted that he was nowhere in the area, it didn't really matter. So he says, here are the facts. This is the person approached me and my colleagues at the Twitch party, introducing herself as a fellow content creator who was interested in hanging out and networking. We exchanged Twitter handles. She then DM'd me at some at some uh, uh, that same night at 2.16, um, asking me to see her again. So from her side of the story, was that they were everybody was out at a party it was her first time they were at twitch i think pax east um and in her reply she says i had one too many long islands and i wish i could post it but they deleted it from from medium if i can find it again uh i'll look it up and see if i can post it maybe maybe it's somewhere else and that didn't get deleted but like i said jeremy the quartering reads her entire thing uh, word for word and i'll leave a link to it but of course he does it from a different angle so she ended up you know probably drinking very heavily when she was out i mean unless she has like a really high tolerance or these long islands were like fairly weak she was probably pretty wrecked that night when she came across joe and so they exchanged information and at some point 
Uh, she sends him a message that it was nice to meet you. In her reply, she shows the messages. Uh, he replies back to her for her to meet up with him. Uh, so he says here, ask me again and meet him again. So if you get a post, if you get a reply as a guy, and you get a reply from a, from a female at 2.16 a.m., more than likely she's interested in you. Or if you're a man of means, then she's more than likely trying to use you. He says, I agreed. And I invited her to my public panel the next day, uh, then a YouTube dinner meeting with account managers afterwards. And so right here is where I get become very suspect of Joe's intentions. The reason being, because if you're a guy who's on his grind and you've accumulated some sort of a wealth, some sort of a following, it becomes real easy for you to meet women right i mean if that's the only thing that you kind of have going for you if you don't have kind of that sexual appeal where it becomes where you're just meeting women because you're an attractive guy you know how to dress and you're and you're fit then you see a lot more men utilizing their position of power or their influence to meet women and so this is kind of like from my perspective why he did that the reason being is because typically you wouldn't see most guy i should say too typically you wouldn't see someone do this unless they were more on the blue pill side because a red pill man wouldn't be out here taking a woman he doesn't know to a public event where people are going to be like well who who is this female that's with you right at some point he even introduces her according to her story when they went out to like a separate dinner he introduces her as his girlfriend um they had been out drinking etc and so he says, I agreed to invite her to a public panel to, he says, to agree to invite her to my public panel, right? And then into a YouTube uh, dinner meeting with the cat manager. She, she, she showed up to my panel with a male friend. Again, typically females have male orbiters. This guy was not her boyfriend. She has a boyfriend. According to her reply uh, in the story, she has a boyfriend, but this person is not her boyfriend. So she shows up with a male orbiter. Realistically speaking, either he's like a gay friend, which is why she brought him, or he's a male orbiter. Again, from a red pill, a red pill perspective, this guy is either a male orbiter who's trying to get with her and she's just using him, you know, to be her company, um, or he might be a gay guy. Again, nothing wrong with being a gay man, but this is typically the kind of interactions that you see with females. If there's a separate guy that's in the mix and she has a boyfriend, more than likely this guy is either a male orbiter or he's not attracted to females. But somebody's attracted to somebody or this person is just, like I said, not attracted to women at all. Right? Because at some point during, during the event, she completely ditches this person. Like they, they were out. This person uh, named Alan was actually with them during the event when she meets Joe and apparently according to her statement and according to his, she basically just ditches this individual at the party or wherever they were. Right. So it's just a, she came with a male friend who was more than welcome to join us at any point throughout the rest of the day or night after the panel concluded. And I kind of don't believe that based off of, uh, based off of the way he kind of goes out of his way for this female, he doesn't know this woman, right? So, so if you're someone who's well to do, you have to be very careful who you associate with, right? So, I mean, typically, men aren't that nice. Realistically, realistically speaking, as a guy, most guys are not that nice that they're going to go out of their way to do something for a female, unless, unless, of course, he's attracted to her. Now, if you take a look at Angry Joe, this is basically, this is basically Angry Joe today. And taking a look at, what is she, Queen, Queen of the Feeders, right? So this is her, where is she? Here we go. So this is basically, this is basically her, right? So again, I'm not saying that I find her attractive. But when you compare the two, you can kind of see that one is more attractive than the other, right? And of course, this was a couple of years ago. So maybe she was, you know, maybe she, I, I, I can't tell what her body looks like. But if we're just going by just what you can see from the pictures, I think realistically speaking, we could say that she is 
prettier than she is better looking than he is right so in my opinion this is kind of what motivated him to be so uh willing to introduce this female to his panel have her on his twitch panel then bring her to a, a dinner as a guest and then take her back to his hotel right because they because he acknowledges it later on he says after my panel we went up with my friend other joe and we traveled together to the hotel where she chose to wait while i showered and got ready for dinner again you don't know this woman you don't know why she's with you i mean later on um, in her reply, um, later on throughout the date, she says that Joe gets upset when they're hanging out at a bar. They probably been drinking because they met drinking the night before. I have no doubt that they were drinking the, the next day after because they're hanging out at a bar with a bunch of people. So I have no doubt that they were drinking probably pretty heavily. She already, from her reply, says that she's a heavy drinker when she says I had one too many Long Islands that night. So I have no doubt that there's a lot of liquor going on around these events, right? And so if you're a well-to-do man, if you're a guy who's on his grind, typically you would want to vet women who come with you, right? I mean, because you have a lot to, you have a lot to risk. But blue, blue pill men don't do that because they, they don't really interact with women uh, like that they're they're just not used to having that female attention that you know women looking at them when they're in the bar kind of doing that double take kind of reaching out for you as you walk by maybe they like the way you're dressed i mean this shit happens living in manhattan i used to go out all the time can't tell you but just normal you see women reach out to you they'll grab they'll grab onto your arms they'll, they'll tug on your jacket they'll pinch your ass when you're walking through the club this shit happens right and so when you're used to that kind of attention Females coming up to you, you're not like, you're not sitting here inviting them out like, yeah, let's go out to dinner. Let's kind of come to my Twitch panel, right? Unless you're trying to impress that individual and you're just not used to, uh, you're just not used to meeting females like that, right? And she has a boyfriend, right? She has a boyfriend, yet for some reason she chose to go back to this individual's hotel. And of course, Regardless of whether Joe was there or not, he more than likely had his own room. So saying that other Joe was there, I mean, I don't, I don't think that another dude was in your hotel room while you were showering, getting ready. That doesn't sound too legit. He more than likely had his own, who more than likely had his own hotel room and she was in his hotel room waiting, right? So again, if she wasn't, either she was given off the wrong impression that he was probably thinking this is an easy score uh, or he was trying to like be overly impressive for this individual. And at any point, they both acknowledge in both in her story and in his story, they both end up back at his, at his hotel. This is at no point that anything improper happened. I never offered or suggested sex. And I don't believe that uh, because you would not go to this extent to take a female out and this is the next day right i mean if you're a guy who's busy you have women in your life when you you know you're especially if you're working like on a rotation of women because there's no uh there's no drought for a man who's on his grind especially if you know how to interact with women you know like they say you know don't focus on chasing women chase a check right and so when you're out there chasing that money there is a forever stream of women who are looking to interact with you and so from what I would what I would imagine is this wasn't the case. He's probably not used to having females interact with him like this. She is, I would say, better looking than he is. And so we see a man acting basically that way. Right? He's act he's acting like he's really interested in her. I mean, why else would you have her uh, come back to your hotel? Why would you bring her to the panel? Why not just say, well, hey, I'll throw me maybe I'll throw your name out. Or or let me take a look at your content, right? Because he, I don't even know if he took a look at this chick's content. Who, who knows what kind of content creator she is? Um, he doesn't, and neither one of them kind of acknowledge whether or not that happened. Um, to kind of vet this person to see if this is a person that I actually want to promote, right? And this is literally the next night. They were drinking heavily, so I doubt they were like, yeah, check out my content, etc. And he was busy up all night, you know, going through her feed to see what kind of person he is. I doubt. He was doing that. They were out there having a good time, drinking, socializing. So it kind of leads me to believe that from when he says that he wasn't suggesting anything sexual, I don't believe that. Again, most male to female interactions, somebody's looking to hook up with somebody or someone's looking to use somebody. It's very rare, very, very rare 
that you find people, I mean, that are on the reel, if you had the opportunity, again, it might be that uh, maybe she didn't have, maybe she realistically didn't have the opportunity to get with him. But in all, in most cases, someone's attracted to someone. And if, you know, the opportunity presented itself, he more likely would have taken it. Or if she's interested, she more likely would have hooked up with him. Right? He says at the meeting, he says, I helped her network her channels with YouTube partner managers. Is after the dinner, my friends and I attended another party in a public space. Right? So this is the third interaction took her to the youtube took her to the youtube event took her to the twitch party and then took her out to another party right so you really trying to showcase this female right you really trying to bring her everywhere everywhere because again at any point in time he could have been like i, I want to see you know other women this times where i go out i used to go out a lot i used to go out a lot to the clubs and I'd meet a person, I'd get their number, and I would just leave. And they'd be like, oh, where, where are you going? I'd be like, I would realistically say, hey, there's a lot of the females around here, and I want to get to know them all. And I would just move on and move on to the next. But when you're, when you're not that red-pilled, you're not used to, uh, you're not used to spitting game. Most guys in the club environments, they just kind of like attach themselves to just one female the entire night. Even some of my friends used to do the exact same thing. And so this is basically kind of what I see happening. He says, he says at the meeting, he networked with her, hooked her up with, uh, with some YouTube partner management. He says, after the, after dinner uh, with my friends. And again, like if you're chilling with your friends and you meet a random female, uh, like what, one of my friends would do that, I would call them out. I'd be like, why are you dragging this female? Just get her number and keep it moving. There's a lot of women out there, bro. Let's keep it moving. There's a lot. We're going to see a lot of women at this party. We're going to be hitting up this party. We're going to be going to this bar. Like, why are you dragging this female everywhere you go? Like, just get her number and keep it moving. Right. But that's not what he's doing. He's he's like he's like almost attached at the hip to this chick. Right. So he says yeah, she she tagged along. And again, Unless she was really interested in him, either physically or she was like, he's not that bad. You know, let's see where this is going. Maybe she was looking to upgrade, right? Females do that all the time. Females monkey branch all the time from one dude to the next. And females don't leave one relationship until they've actually secured that next relationship. And so I have no doubt that this is probably what was going on. So she tagged along and said at the party, she says she checked her bags and her belongings. I kind of don't believe that she checked her bag. Females typically hold onto their bags because they've got all their stuff in there, their makeup. They go to freshen up because it's hot and they, they want to go and freshen up. They usually got like their hygiene products in there. They've got their cell phone. So typically, I don't believe that she she checked her bag. Usually, if they have like a coat check, you'll check your coat check. But I, I typically don't see a lot of females checking their purses because they've got their wallet in there they got their id like they've got like all their valuable shit when they go to the bathroom they have their hygiene products etc right so i, I kind of don't believe that he says at no point did i ever take her phone or pursue or deny her access to them he says in fact she posted photos and that's true typically when when females are out even if they're going out with you on a date if they view you you'll see you'll be on a date and they're snapping pictures of the food they ain't snapping pictures of you with them on the date they're snapping pictures of their experience so that other people can see that they're being taken out very rare rare when you look at another photo of a female where you'll see like other guys even when she's taking pictures of food more than likely she's on a date with another dude but she's only taking pictures of the food because she wants people to think that she has this really social life this is a no point that i ever take her phone it says i never grabbed i never grabbed dragged pushed pulled cornered or spun her in any direction as she claims she says i did not make her uh, stay by my side at all times as she claims she says we mingled at the party uh, separately much of the time he says all the facts can be confirmed by the numerous people uh, that were there that evening and on her account confirms these events in her post she claims that she believed that i was pressuring her for sex and <clears throat> again if this girl was just using him and she thought that he was just being friendly, if in any way, shape, or form, he made some sort of a sexual, uh, if he made some sort of a, a sexual remark, I mean, you did let her come up to your hotel. And typically, guys who aren't, if he didn't find her attractive, he, again, he wouldn't have been, uh, you know, basically chilling with her that hard all night at the party, uh, at the dinner, at the after party, right? He wouldn't have been chilling with her that hard unless he was trying to get it in real realistically speaking so i kind of have no doubt that he was trying to make the moves on her because again from a guy's perspective if you really don't 
like that female that you know you kind of going hard for a female you don't even know literally from the next day and you're like trying to trying to put her on trying to put her on the map with like other people that would be like do you know this woman joe like yeah i met her yesterday i'm gonna vouch for her and then i would be like you just met her yesterday and you vouching this hard for her i in my in my mind i'd be thinking you must be trying to get it in because i don't know i don't understand why you vouching this hard for a female you basically dragging this woman around everywhere you're going and he says all these facts can be confirmed he says uh this is completely untrue he says i never suggested sex again i don't believe that he's i never spoke about sex i don't believe that at all i don't believe that at all he says i never touched her inappropriately again when there's alcohol involved and if you're attracted to a female i kind of don't believe that it says so she is a grown-up and we were in and we were in public and she could have left at any time and that's true because but realistically she wasn't looking to go she was trying to see what you could do for her whether she was attracted to him maybe there was some sort of attraction um uh, but maybe she was just trying to use him um in her reply she says that they, they end up going back end up going back out um in her reply when they were at pax at the twitch party she says that he grabs her takes her into a cab and then they end up going back to his hotel so that he could change to go to the next party and shower right and she ditches her friend alan for like almost that whole night almost that whole night so she says it's like seven eight hours uh before she's able to contact alan before she's able to um contact her boyfriend to let her know because she says that he was upset that he hadn't heard from her all day right um and again you always got to be careful when as a guy when you get when, if your female's like you, i'm doing a road trip or i'm gonna go hang out and we're gonna go to these parties it's like if your females if your females out there doing that and you're not in the vicinity chances are stuff like this is going to happen right because she's a woman who has a boyfriend she says she has a boyfriend i think she's with that guy even to this day and like why would you be in some dude's hotel if you didn't think you know something was going to go down or if you weren't intending on you know something going down doesn't just make doesn't make any sense uh, I can get if she, maybe she was trying to use him because at some point, like later on in her uh, in her side of the story, she says that when they were at um, they were at this bar, like towards the end of the night. Before they kind of go their separate ways and Joe gets upset because he finds her on her cell phone and he's like, who are you talking to? And in her reply, she lies and says, he's like, oh, are you talking to your boyfriend? And she's like, no, uh, I was talking to Alan. I Meanwhile, she was talking to her boyfriend. And he was like, oh, is that your boyfriend or whatever? And she was like, no, I'm not talking to my boyfriend. Right? So she denies, uh, she denies kind of like having a boyfriend. Right? So from Joe's perspective, again, they were probably out there. Again, they're out at a bar. You're out of a bar. You're most likely drinking. Right? And so from his blue pill perspective, he's like, I took this female out. I took her to Twitch. I, I invited her to these YouTube people. We rolled out to another party where I introduced her to all my friends. And he's probably thinking, is this chick trying to play me? And then in her reply, she makes mention of that. She says that he at one point gets upset. Uh, and he makes that he makes a similar statement where he was like, oh, you know, you're like all the rest, you know, you're just trying to use me, you know, to get uh, views and to get subs, etc. He's like, I thought you were different. I have no doubt that he said that. Based off of, again, based off of this, right? If you're a red pill man and you're used to meeting women, you don't go that hard for a female you don't know. You don't drag women around that you don't know. You get the number, you keep it moving, right? Cause it's all about it's all a numbers game you never you can meet 15 women in one night you might speak to you know five of them and you might go out with one of them from a male perspective it's just a numbers game right because females give out their numbers left and right right so i kind of have a hard time believing that joe is just like i was you know i was on my p's and q's you know i was a little boy scout that night nothing happened and at the same time i kind of understand from her her perspective she was probably out there trying to see what she could get out of him maybe 
uh, she there might have been some attraction between between the two of them on her side because again she really didn't have to go back to his hotel she says that she kind of kind of got dragged along for the ride so in most of her reply she basically kind of gives up agency she's like not responsible for her actions she doesn't take responsibility for anything that she did putting herself in a bad place like she had a boyfriend she could have said right from the very beginning like you're pressing me kind of hard i got a man if you're looking to help me out that's fine but if you have ulterior motives because i'm going to sleep with you right she didn't say any of that in her in her reply in her in her side of the story and so it's kind of hard to believe in my in my opinion this is probably a really bad interaction by a guy who's a blue pillar who doesn't know how to interact with women ends up being a little overly aggressive becomes upset when he can't seal the deal and then she comes around and is like you know i kind of she didn't want to make mention of it she was hope, probably hoping that she was going to get a little more out of the deal than kind of what went down maybe he was like i'm just trying to hit it and keep it moving and she was like i'm not going to branch from my boyfriend to to uh to a one night stand and so it kind of ends it kind of ends there where she says that he pushed her up against a wall or and tried to and confronted her about the situation more than likely that it happened guys typically get aggressive i see this all the time in clubs um guys especially when they've been drinking they do get a little bit overly aggressive um especially if you're a blue pillar uh and you're not maybe used to rejection or you don't typically handle rejection well you might act, you might act this way this is a very good example of why as a man you don't do this right especially if you're a man who is on his grind and females are going to come out out of the woodwork that ju that just happens when you're busy and you're focused on your grind and you start making progress females are going to take notice again females wait at the finish line they're not there to build with you especially in today's day and age they're not there to build with you they're not there running with running alongside you they're just there at the finish line waiting for the winners and so when you have an understanding of that you and you realize that you don't treat them like this right you don't sit here and whine and dine and show them around because more than likely they're just looking they're just kind of using you for clout they're trying to just use you for what they can get out of you and i think that's kind of what she was probably trying to do for him she was probably because she says she was like i don't even watch angry joe i don't even know who he was and it's like mm, i kind of don't believe that um because she makes mention of him being a famous youtuber when she met him and she was excited to meet him and it's like it's hard to be excited to meet someone who's you deemed a famous youtuber if you don't know who the person is and you don't watch their content it just doesn't make sense right so it, it's just it's just a very again it's just a very weird weird interaction and this is exactly what you don't do it's exactly what you don't do when you're a person who's on his grind and you're starting to become a little bit success a little bit successful you don't sit there and uh try to give this much attention to a woman it comes back to bite you in the ass i mean he probably forgot about this interaction she says that she went and kind of talked to the twitch managers or talked to like his management team and they were like you know we'll take care of it you know and i think she spoke to some people at the bar and they probably didn't make 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 a big deal of it i really don't think it was probably as dangerous as kind of like twitter kind of wants to make it out to see make it out to be where it's like he was like a raper or anything like that i really don't believe that i think it's just an example of uh, a really bad a really bad date between a guy who's just not used to interacting with females and probably a female who's trying to use him for clout.